Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a genre that's full of magical worlds, epic adventures, and wild, otherworldly action. Isekai anime has been taking us to alternate dimensions for years. But while everyone's talking about the big names, there are some hidden gems that totally deserve more attention. Oh, grab your snacks, get ready for a whole new lineup, and stick around as we count down the top 10 best underrated isekai anime you must watch. Let's get started. How Not to Summon a Demon Lord When it comes to the fantasy Amorbed Cross Reverie, the power of the Demon King Diablo is unmatched. With the game's rarest artifacts and an unequaled player level, he easily defeats anyone dumb enough to challenge him. Despite his frightening reputation, Diablo's true identity is Takuma Sakamoto, a reclusive gamer with no social skills. Takuma is obsessed with his virtual existence, defeating hopeless rivals on a daily basis until a summoning spell transports him to another dimension where he takes on the appearance of Diablo. Takuma is hailed by the two girls who summon him, Remgelu, a small pantherian adventurer, and Shira L. Greenwood, a busty elf summoner. They cast an enslavement ritual in an attempt to subjugate him, but the ritual backfires and they become his slaves instead. With the situation getting more difficult than ever, Takuma chooses to accompany the girls in their search for a means to break their contract while adjusting to his new life as the Scary Demon King. Kamikatsu Yukito Yuraid performs a rite to become the new leader of his father's cult, believing that the omnipotent deity Matama would come to save him. But when the youngster drowns during the rite, he wishes to be reincarnated in a world free of gods and religion, reawakening in a non-spiritual environment. He meets a wayward girl named Oruwaru, who shows him around her community. His ideal view of the world's culture is dashed when he witnesses a public group suicide and learns about the country's end-of-life system, which allows the government to order the death of any citizen at any time. Eruwaru and her sister are forcibly taken for execution shortly after, leading Yukito to rush to their aid, but to no avail. In a time of desperation, Yukito recalls his father's teachings and prays to Matama to save them. A tiny girl appears to answer his appeal, descending from the skies and annihilating everyone who has wronged Yukito and his comrades. To Yukito's surprise, the girl identifies herself as Matama. The Magical Revolution of the Reincarnated Princess Princess Anisvia, Anis Wen Palicia, has always wanted to fly over the skies, despite the fact that the people of her kingdom think it is a ridiculous aspiration. Despite her aristocratic title, Anis is unable to use magic, which contradicts her aim. Refusing to give up so easily, she abandons her claim to the throne and focuses on developing magicology by mixing numerous resources with knowledge from her previous existence on Earth. Because of Anis' nature, responsibility for the kingdom's destiny is transferred to her younger brother, Algard. Pushed into a political marriage with Euphilia Magenta, a girl he hardly knows, Algard rebels by spending more time with a commoner girl than his fiancée. After Euphilia tries to interfere, Algard openly cancels their marriage and accuses his ex fiancee of bullying. After crashing into the banquet where Algard announces the announcement, Anna saves Euphilia with the flying broom she is testing. She chooses to make Euphilia her assistant, which the other girl grudgingly accepts. All other collaboration appears to be coincidental at first. Anna's has a hidden motivation for acquiring Euphilia's business. Life with an ordinary guy who reincarnated into a total fantasy knockout. Tsukesa Jinguchi has had amazing luck with ladies because of his beautiful looks since they were students, whilst Tanada, Tachibana has had absolutely none, being overshadowed by Jinguchi's intellect. While Jinguchi has never expressed interest in the opposite sex, Tachibana is constantly looking for a girlfriend. Despite their stark differences, they remain great friends even in their 30s as salarmen. One night, the two are heading home from a mixer, during which Jinguji was the center of attention as usual. In his inebriated ramblings, a disappointed Tachibana unintentionally desires to become a lovely girl with captivating charm. As if the gods were listening, a goddess appears before Jinguji and Tachibana, sending them to another planet to vanquish the demon lord, while also fulfilling Tachibana's yearning. Tachibana, now in the body of an incredibly lovely woman, has captured the attention of Jinguji as well. 
Furthermore, Tachibana becomes aware of Jinguji's amazing appearance and eventually understands his appeal. Before falling in love with each other, the duo must finish their objective or risk being forever trapped by their Dog Days Dog Days is set in the realm of Flonyard, an alternate Earth populated by individuals who resemble humans but have the ears and tails of various animals. The Republic of Biscotti, a union of canine inhabitants, has been attacked by the Galette Leo Knights feline soldiers. In an effort to save Biscotti, Princess Melior summons a hero from another realm to defend her people. Sinkazumi is a regular junior high student from Earth. Sink agrees to assist Biscotti and retrieves a sacred weapon known as the Palladian, preparing for war. In Flonyard, wars are fought without casualties and are more analogous to sporting events with the objective of collecting funds for the participating kingdoms. Sink succeeds in his position as Biscotti's champion, but discovers that a summoned champion cannot be returned to their home world. Biscotti scientists will work hard to find a method for Sink to return home, but in the meantime, he must serve Princess Mildior by fighting as Biscotti's hero. Parallel World Pharmacy Kenji Yakutani, a world-class medical researcher, lost his younger sister to a tumor years ago, owing to inadequate treatment. To honor her memory, he has focused his research on discovering new treatments for similar illnesses. But, as fate would have it, he overworked himself and died at the age of 31, only to be offered another opportunity at life in another universe. When Kenji awakens, he is in the body of a 10-year-old kid named Falma Dematisis, the son of a well-known medical family in the Saint Fluve Empire. Falma, who bears the mark of a deity's divine favor, can execute a rare divine art that allows him to make and reduce any substance while also knowing its chemical qualities. After reading certain pharmacology texts, Falma finds that this world uses medicinal techniques similar to those in ancient times. He also discovers that medicine is an exclusive prerogative of the nobles, denying commoners of adequate medical care. Using the knowledge from his previous life and the supernatural skills bestowed upon him, Falma intends to make medicine available to those who require it, regardless of class. Handyman Seitu in Another World Despite being a handyman with a diverse set of talents, Seitu is severely devalued and underpaid. When he protests, his supervisor dismisses him, arguing he is easily replaced. As if his luck wasn't awful enough, Seitu is about to be ran over by a truck on the way home. Surprisingly, Satan does not die but is transferred to another realm. There, he finds a party made up of the female knight Relza, the moonlight fairy La Fan Pan, and the magician Morlock, all of whom are looking for a new member with skills similar to Satu's. Throughout their time together, Satu uses his expertise to help his fellow party members and soon receives the recognition he never imagined was achievable. However, Satu's presence may only serve as a catalyst bringing together a wide ensemble of characters from many locations and gradually unveiling the fate that could bring about significant change in the globe. The Executioner and Her Way of Life Mitsuki Mutu, an average student, is unexpectedly taken to another realm. Mitsuki is summoned by the ruler of this planet for the extraordinary power he is said to possess, but is cast away when it is discovered that he lacks a special concept. Moping around, he meets a priestess named Menu, who explains that Japanese people like him are known as Lost Ones, and they always have special concepts. Menu goes on to say that she is a member of a religion that assists abandoned Lost Ones adapting to civilization. She asks him to spend the night in her church, where they may discuss the nature of his ability. They eventually realize that Mitsuki's special concept is extremely strong and hazardous, but is Menu's ultimate objective to help the Lost Ones, or the opposite? Kimono Michi, Rise Up Genzo Shibata, a professional wrestler, has the physique of a mountain, but beneath his massive exterior is a man with a deep love of animals. Genzu, known in the ring as the renowned Animal Mask, has won the hearts of fans all around the world with his unique tiger persona. During his fight for the world champion title against his fiercest foe, the Macadamian Ogre, Genzu is unexpectedly transported to a magical realm by a princess. With her realm endangered by a monster infestation, she begs the wrestler for help, to which he responds by knocking her out with a German suplex. Genzu escapes the castle and finds himself stranded in a mysterious country, where he decides to begin his career as a beast hunter, capturing and befriending species from all over. Joined by the wolf girl Shigure, 
the dragon girl Hanako, and the vampire Carmilla Vanstein. The professional wrestler pursues a variety of perilous requests in order to realize his ambition of owning a pet shop. Outbreak Company Shinichi Kanu is a reclusive geek with extensive knowledge in anime, comics, and video games. One day after applying for a job to escape his reclusive lifestyle, he is abducted and brought to the Eldont Empire, a mythical world populated by elves, dragons, and dwarfs. Trapped in this alien nation, Shinichi is assigned an unexpected mission by the Japanese government to promote otaku culture throughout the realm as a otaku missionary. Shinichi has the full support of the Japanese government, as well as the half-elf maid Mayusel and the Eldont Empire's Princess Petralka. Together with this motley crew, he will overcome political, social, and ethnic barriers to spread otaku culture in this holy area. So these were the top 10 best underrated isekai anime you must watch. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any videos like this in the future. Keep sharing your thoughts with us down in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.